people welcome back to my youtube channel the elite field principle i'm your host shaheen um i have a very important video as per stock market um that i'm going to discuss today um i made a mistake then i was dealing with the s p 500 and i wanted to correct that mistake i was looking at dow jones and then i realized that it was going to be a horrendous mistake just a bit off the timing and then we would have missed a good trend on the bearish side stay with me what we were looking for before i was expecting that we have an a b arrow here and then we have uh, somewhere over here v1 and two and three and four and then five that have would, would have any mistake the reason is because we are looking at a different pattern before we can actually discuss this, this pattern we need to look at what dow jones is looking and then that will clear things up a lot and the chart that we have here in front of you is very helpful in recognizing the mistake that we have done and i'm going to correct it this one um, you can clearly see that we have seen a wave upside and then we have a corrective pattern right over here and then we have wave c ending right over here we have a clear very you can see that pushes are happening right over here in which case smaller and smaller move were expected so we are expected to see a sudden drop in the price of dow jones the reason is the larger pattern that we are seeing is an a b c pattern and the wave actually started from over here so we have a larger a around this one over here and this is expected to be uh, completing wave b right over here which is right over here about to be completed any day now and then we are expected to see a sharp drop um, on the wave c and this is uh, when you look at this uh, chart and this is definitely very clear um, chart pattern that we have seen we have clear 535 five structure and then we can see that wave behavior that is here is definitely something indicating that um, prices are doing uh, pushing really hard uh, to stay above so you can look at a four hourly time frame and then you'll get an idea what i'm talking about so here's the four hourly time frame you can see that we have spent days in days and hardly staying above this uh, this trend line this is very dangerous trend line as soon as the trend line trend line gets broken we are looking at the larger pattern that we need to complete which is this one right over here wave a wave b and wave c now this wave c decline can actually happen sharply come some price can actually sharply fall cracked and then make smaller waves down over here or it can actually take its time both things are possible but keep in mind that we're very close to the completion of the pattern this is quite different from what we're looking at s p 500 i was expecting that we are going to see a larger pull uh, something like over here and then go upward no that is wrong so i have to come because of the correlation of the uh, both the indices one can say that we were actually wrong and that's the reason i have to do redo the labeling and right now i'm considering that this is actually a triple zigzag that we have seen so this is wave w correction wave y correction and wave so this is a triple zigzag a lot of people are going to say no this is not right but uh, when the price actually crashes they will have uh, an idea what corrective pattern that we can see and that's the only corrective pattern that actually uh, stands out is triple zigzag so this is larger wave a this black a and this is wave b and wave c we are surely to see bearish trend and that bearish trend uh, is going to give way to the bullish trend in the gold market and in the silver market something amazing is going to happen there's quite possible we are going to see that blow up that you were expecting in gold and silver for a good while uh, so the larger trend i have seen i've done some i think is going to take about a couple of years in gold uh, to complete the to run out the existing um bull market that we are in we have an, another two and a half years to go in before we can see some break in um we'll we'll see some correction on this uh, side uh, but the larger trend stays strong and such we can see that we are going to be bearish in s p 500 we are going to be bearish in dow zone industrials and let's have a look what's doing um the nasdaq 100 and look at this how nasdaq is expecting the patterns are different but the direction of the trend is same we are looking right now as wave a this one right over here completed then wave b is about to complete which is pushing to the upper line trend line over here and then we are going to see a sharper reversal down once again this is equally can uh, follow 1929 when which prices drop sharply and then come back and then very slowly or this actually can be a slow uh, push on the downside what's going to trigger i'm not looking at the fundamentals right now but it, this is uh, uh dow jones looking at dow jones made me aware that we do not have time and, and we are running out of the time 
we have discussed Dow Jones, S&P uh, 500 and NASDAQ 100. We'll also look at Tesla and Tesla, I believe we are going to somewhere around go uh, about $60 or so. So uh, what I've done is done eight divisions and we can see that it's perfect. Uh, perfectly because the bounce was uh, about five divisions one two three four and five so five out of eight and then you're expecting for the price to come down uh, i'm expecting that 65 dollars is reasonable price for uh, nasdaq uh, for uh, tesla to come we were expecting a jump back prices come and jump back over here but now with the uh, with the Dow Jones, the way it is acting, we have to come and discuss that no Dow Jones and Tesla is not coming down and jump up and then come up again. Whether Tesla will continue its uh, move further downside, and we are expecting that it's going to continue further downside. There is there a possibility go further down. There is a possibility. The reason is because you look at the how drop it can about hundred and three dollars, and when the prices went up, it did not sustain that way. It has come down already. So we are expecting further on the bearish side. Now crypto is also a lot of people are saying, oh, it's gonna maybe it's not gonna visit ten thousand. I'm looking into look at uh, do, uh, what's have a Bitcoin. Maybe crypto is not visiting ten thousand, but twenty thousand definitely possible. Um, we have seen prices sharply come down. I think there is another price movement just a bit left. Maybe we'll see prices to go up a bit, and I think that's why it is gonna be the larger pattern that i'm looking for is right over here wave w wave x and wave y within this center we have an a b and c wave c is expected to be five wave structure we have a one and two three and four so we're expecting for the prices maybe this is truncation be really fearful if price drops below 61,000, that's an indication that we probably have seen the top right over here so be really careful we are very close to the making a top and i have no um I have no doubt that you're going to see a bearish uh, price action in crypto in stock market as well and let's have a quick look at, uh, at gold before I can actually close this so gold um, we are we have seen the bottom right over here honestly at this moment is very clear we have crossed the top on tops right over here this one and that one so we have seen the bottom right over here this is not gonna happen all right this is not gonna happen what we are looking right now is we are looking definitely as a bearish um, chance is gone away there is absolutely no chance what we're looking for is that the next potential target is 3600 all right the next potential target and that's achievable in next uh, I would say a couple of years maybe we can we are going far but this is the target that I'm keeping $3,600 is our in target in in gold we are going higher higher uh, there is a chance when prices go over here we are going to see some correction and um, let we'll discuss it but the larger the trend that we have that from this bottom we are definitely going to go uh, higher all okay? right so we are I'm bullish on gold and um, the target is about 3600 for the long that actually started from over here 16 so an addition of $2,000 from this bottom okay hold on I'll discuss the labeling later um, if this is uh, bullish then definitely we are looking at a silver as bullish as well there is no stopping right now we have seen the bottom that we had here and we are going to go up over here with the way the market is expected right now I'm surely expecting uh, for the further uh, bullish prices in gold and silver both all right so we'll stay I will say that this is the reasonable almost we are going to look at the swings and then we can see that we can put stop loss right behind the install the previous swing and then ask the wait for the prices to go further up wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye